technology is evolving faster and faster. Not surprising when you consider that today, more scientists are doing research than in all of history combined and using superior instruments and communication tools. New technologies like biogenetics, artificial intelligence, implants, and nanotechnology have advanced vastly in the past few decades. These various technologies seem now to be converging towards one goal, to overcome human limits and to create new, higher forms of life, to create something transhuman. Robert Anton Wilson has been calculating this acceleration of knowledge. He calls it the jumping Jesus phenomenon. The jumping Jesus phenomenon is my name for the acceleration of information throughout history. I first, got, I first heard of that from uh, Alfred Korzybski, a Polish mathematician who invented a scientific discipline called general semantics. And Korzybski noted that information was doubling faster and faster every generation. And he said, we've got to be prepared for more and more change. We've got to train ourselves to be less dogmatic and more flexible so we can deal with change. And he took the unit at 1 AD as his basic unit to calculate how long it took for the information available to human beings to double, and it took 1,500 years which brought us up to the time when Leonardo da Vinci was in his 40s and the Renaissance was at its height. I decided to call this unit a Jesus. So in 1 AD we had one Jesus, in 1500 we had two Jesus. The next doubling only took 250 years. We already you can see the acceleration factor. And by 1750 we had four Jesus. The next doubling took 150 years and by 1900 we had eight Jesus. The next doubling only took 50 years, and by 1950 we had 16 Jesus. By 1960, in only 10 years, we had 32 Jesus. By 1967, we had 64 Jesus. And by 1973, 128 Jesus. And the latest estimate I've seen by Dr. Jacques Vallée, a, a computer scientist, is that knowledge is doubling every year. But I heard that, oh, about five, six years ago. I saw something on the net recently. Somebody estimated it's doubling about twice a year now. Obviously, if we're experiencing more change now in a year than we previously experienced in a thousand years, we can propagate that trend into the future and see that a day will come when we will experience more change in an hour than we have experienced in the past 20, 30,000 years. A situation like that is unimaginable, so we call it uh, a singularity.